Hello and welcome to this learning video. Till now we have seen what is Fourier series. Fourier series in the interval 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 L, then minus pi to pi and minus L to L. And we in addition to the last two uh, cases like minus pi to pi and uh, minus L to L uh, that is the Fourier series for even and odd functions we have seen and at last we are going to see the half range Fourier cosine and sine series okay why it is called half range because earlier we have seen it is to be like 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 pi or sometimes 2l or sometimes minus l less than equal to x less than equal to plus l or pi minus pi so these are called as the full range and when we uh, restrict this uh, range to only half one like instead of taking minus uh, uh, sorry 0 to 2l if you restrict it from 0 to l this means we are talking about the half range Fourier series okay so here we have uh, the range of the type like this okay so in general we are talking when we talking in general then we have to take the interval as l so that's why i have written here zero less than x less than l okay now so the if f of x is a function defined on the range this is the half range then it's uh, sine series is f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sine n pi x by l okay and you know that uh, in the e odd function also if we have to find out the Fourier series for odd function or uh, half range sine series half range sine series then we only have to find out the coefficient bn okay and the here the Fourier uh, half range Fourier sine series is this where bn is this we have to find out likewise we have the for half range cosine series which uh, in which there is an involvement involvement of Fourier coefficient a0 and a n okay and here in this case a0 is 2 by l integration 0 to l f of x dx and a n is 2 by l integration 0 to l f of x into cos n pi x by l dx now you may be wondering like uh, this is we have already done right because we have already done this in even and odd function okay so just the matter of writing is different there we just write a0 and a n is uh, a0 and a n is 0 for the uh, Fourier series for odd function and here you can see the half range sine series also like the same as the Fourier series for Fourier series for odd function okay the only change is there uh, in the last topic we have the interval minus pi to pi or minus l to l where in this case we have the 0 to l or 0 to pi okay so for the half range this is in general 0 to l for uh, for the half range uh, in particular 0 to pi so what you need to do you need to put l is equal to pi or here the moment you put l is equal to pi the things will get a little bit change okay so in 0 to pi what it should be it should be f of x equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity bn into sine n pi x by l is equal to pi so this pi pi get cancelled and we remain with sine nx okay so that would be the change uh, we'll see in the very first example in this so let us take a problem on this uh, half range sine and cosine series so the question will be in the examination the question will be like obtain obtain half range example obtain half range sine series half range sine series for for f of x is equal to pi x minus x square in the interval 0 to pi in 0 to pi 
so in the examination or uh, it is explicitly written there like uh, obtain the half range for your science series or cosine series depending on the problem and if it is not given if it is written obtain science series for f of x in 0 to pi so looking at the interval also you can see that this is the problem of half range okay so how we going to start with we are going to start with the f of x right solution let let f of x is equal to so what is my f of x my f of x is pi x minus x square okay and say this is to be equation one what we have to find out we have to find out the half range sine series okay so you can write the required series is the required series is the required series is f of x is equal to this now here we have 0 to pi not l so the moment you put l is equal to pi so this is get cancelled so we remain with nx sin nx so this is summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx likewise this is bn where bn is 2 by pi integration 0 to pi f of x into sin nx dx okay sin nx dx simple so what we need to do we just need to find out the bn okay so let us find out bn so we'll solve this problem very systematically as always So, to, to find Bn, to find Bn, what is my Bn? My Bn is this, and say this is to be equation number 2. So, Bn is equal to 2 by pi, integration 0 to pi. What is my f of x? Here you can see my f of x is pi, x minus x square. So, this is pi x minus x square into into sin nx dx simple now as you all know that we are going to apply here the product rule or the integration by parts okay so this is 2 by pi apply here the integration by parts so first function is pi x minus x square into integration of sine what is integration of sine integration of sine is minus cos nx divided by the coefficient of x n okay limit 0 to pi minus derivative of this what is derivative of this derivative of this is pi minus 2x integration of this so i am keeping minus sign as it is and this n as it is okay what is integration of cos integration of cos is sine so this is sine nx okay divide by the coefficient of x so this n becomes n square limit 0 to pi okay then plus one more integration plus what is derivative of this derivative of this is minus 2 okay derivative of pi is 0 here it is minus 2 in bracket minus what is integration okay minus and this n square as it is what is integration of sine minus cos so this become plus cos nx by n this become now cube limit 0 to pi very simple is it now <clears throat> you can solve this as 2 by pi now upper limit minus lower limit so when you apply here x is equal to pi so this is pi minus sorry pi into pi pi square pi square minus pi square 0 so lower limit will gives you sorry upper limit will gives you 0 sorry and lower limit says put x is equal to 0 so this is pi into 0 minus 0 cos 0 so anything 0 into anything 0 so in the first term you will be getting 0 minus 0 okay now
Now this is minus minus plus. So this is plus. So I am taking 1 by n square outside. Now apply here the upper limit minus lower limit. So in place of x put, in place of x you put pi. So this is pi minus 2 pi into sine n pi. What is sine n pi? 0. So 0 into anything? 0 minus put x is equal to 0. So this is pi minus 0 into sine 0. Sine 0 is also 0. Again 0. Very nice. Okay. Now at last what you will be getting? This is minus 2 by n cube. Okay. Minus 2 by n cube. What is it? Cos. So put x is equal to pi. So this is cos n pi minus cos of 0. Okay. And this completes here. Clear? Now what we need to do is these two terms are 0. Okay. So we remain with only the last term. What is cos n pi? Do you remember what is cos n pi? Cos n pi is minus 1 to the power n. And what is cos 0? Cos 0, everyone knows it. That's what? Cos 0 is 1. So I am writing here this bn. Therefore, bn is equal to 2 to the 4. So this is minus 4 by pi n cube into minus 1 to the power n minus 1. Either you can write like this or if you want you can write or my bn is equal to you can take this minus sign uh, inside. So this is 4 by pi n cube into 1 minus minus 1 to the power n. So this is minus this is plus so I am writing plus 1 first and then the minus. Okay, so this is my bn. Now substitute this value of bn in this equation number 2. Okay, so you just write down one thing here. Therefore, equation 2 implies, therefore, equation 2 becomes, it becomes f of x. What is my f of x? My f of x is pi x minus x square. So this is pi x minus x square is equal to summation. What is my bn? Just I have found out. My bn is this 4 by pi n cube into 1 minus of minus 1 to the power n into sine nx. So this is my Fourier series. If you want, you can do uh, one more thing here. If you want, you can do one more thing. That is, that is, pi x minus x square is equal to summation over n. So you can certainly take this uh, 4 by pi outside. So this is 4 upon pi summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 minus of minus 1 to the power n upon n cube into sine nx. Okay, and this is nothing but my required Fourier sine series for the given function half range, required half range sine series for the function pi x minus x square. Okay, this is the required one. So I hope uh, this video lecture is making sense and whatever I have explained or here in this learning video are uh, gettable to you. So thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.